Hello everybody, welcome to our fifth video in our series on Ramsey theory, and today I'd like to focus in on a specific Ramsey number, R333. Now re uh, recall from the previous video that R333 is defined as the minimum number of vertices n required such that given any three coloring on kn, we're going to be guaranteed a monochromatic triangle in one of those three colors. Okay, so uh, we claim that R333 is equal to 17. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to just say that we know that this Ramsey number is greater than 16. And this result was proven in a paper entitled Combinatorial Relations and Chromatic Graphs. Uh, this was published back in the 1960s by uh, Greenwood and Gleason. Um, but uh, the, 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 the proof of this result is a, little bit, um, is, is a little bit beyond the scope of today's video. Uh, we might return to it in a future one. Assuming that we know that R333 is greater than 16, we want to show that it's less than or equal to 17. So let us consider the complete graph on 17 vertices, K17. And so, as usual, we will uh, arrange our vertices cyclically. So we have 17 vertices. Now, I want to focus in on a specific vertex. So let's choose this one, call it V. And now, um, so there's going to, uh, we're dealing with the complete graph on 17 vertices. So in particular, we know that there's 16 edges from V to the 16 other vertices. And what I want to do is I want to three color these edges. So uh, this one might be blue, blue, blue. No, we might have some yellow, maybe a red. Okay, so something. We have an arbitrary three coloring on K17. Now um, note that the number of red edges plus the number of blue edges plus number of yellow edges, this is going to sum to 16. Now this is uh, fairly obvious because um, we have 16 edges already, we're just three coloring them. So of course it's going to sum to 16. And now I claim that uh, we're going to be guaranteed that at least six edges are going to be monochromatic in uh, a single color. So what that means is uh, we're going to be guaranteed to have, say, at least six red edges or blue or yellow. Um, now to prove this, uh, just consider the case where we have at most five edges that are uh, monochromatic in a single color. Well, if this, if this is true, then at best we have five red plus five blue plus five yellow, and that does not sum to 16, so that's no good. So uh, we know that at least, um, at least six edges are going to uh, all have the same color. And so without loss of generality, let's just assume that, let's assume that uh, at least six edges, um, at least six of these edges are yellow. So what that means is uh, we, have, uh, we have our vertex V up here, and now we have six vertices down here we have at least six vertices down here, and they're all connected to V via a yellow edge. Now at this point, we want to consider the edges between these six vertices themselves. Now uh, one of two cases could hold. Um, the first case is that uh, we have a yellow edge between any of these vertices. Now, if we have a yellow edge between any of these vertices down here, we're finished. Because, uh, you know, between, if we choose an arbitrary pair of vertices down here, yellow edge, well then, uh, they're both themselves connected to V with a yellow edge, and there's our monochromatic triangle. So, um, so that's our first case. Our second case is that we don't have any yellow edges between um, our six vertices. Now remember that we're working with, this, is, this whole thing is a subgraph on K17. So we have edges between, um, you know, if we focus on uh, the subgraph um, between these six vertices, it's going to be complete. 
And uh, in this second case, we're going to consider a two-coloring um, because we, 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 we assume that we're not using yellow at all. So we're, we're, we're essentially having a two-coloring on uh, this complete subgraph on six vertices. Now recall from the first video the fact that R3, 3 is equal to 6. And so uh, by virtue of uh, how this Ramsey number is defined, we proved that it was equal to 6. And so in particular, if we have, um, if we consider this complete graph on six vertices down here, and it's two colored, then we know that it must have either a monochromatic triangle that is uh, either blue or red. And so at any rate, um, we do have, uh, we are guaranteed a monochromatic triangle in either yellow, red, or blue on the complete graph on 17 vertices. Now recall that uh, we already knew that um, this particular Ramsey number was greater than 16. We just showed over here that it's less than or equal to 17. So uh, indeed, R333 um, is equal to 17. And that concludes our proof.